Hey guys, Kevin here. I haven't made a video in a really long time. Um, a few things happened. Uh, I graduated undergrad, I got two more jobs, and yeah, just a bunch of stuff happened. So today I'm going to be talking about my five favorite items in my closet. First up, I have it over here. It is for top, I guess, is my APC Kanye hip hop tee. This was essentially the tee that everybody was making fun of because uh, it was $100 retail. But this is honestly my favorite tee. I got this during the release, wore it a bit, sold it, and then I wasn't able to find another white t-shirt that like matched the quality and the fit of this guy. So I really do enjoy like the baggier fit. And since lately I've been tucking in my shirts inside my pants, um, it can also do that because it has sort of like a really wide neck as well as a more exaggerated silhouette. So I can either tuck it in or I can have it flow out like a normal, I guess, oversized jacket. Um, the Egyptian cotton in this, A1. The only little thing is that it's slightly translucent, not too much, but uh, it is more of a thinner cotton. Next up is something that I've talked about already before, my Patagonia bomber jacket. So for this one, I picked it up on Grailed for like $40, $50. And this essentially has been my go-to jacket for the past, for the past four months or so. Um, early mornings, late nights, um, this is what you'll usually see me in. I really do like the almost powder blue, like washed out blue and it's the made in USA version. So it's this like nice fleece lining, which I really do like fleece linings because I don't really understand the whole point of having like a fleece exterior while having like nothing on the reverse side. I just like the feeling of a fleece and this guy definitely does it. It's a bit more of like a baggier fit as well. I've been digging that a lot in jackets, so can't live without this guy. So another one is a recent pickup that I've had. It is the acronym P10. Um, I'm gonna be doing like fits of all these things at the end of the video. So the acronym P10, um, my first pair of acronym bottoms. I went with the P10 because I'm kind of more into the slimmer uh, silhouette of it. I might actually need an extra small. I'm five foot eight, I weigh about like 149 pounds and the small still fits a little bit baggy on me. Um, I'm gonna try and find a trade for this. I have the P10DS, which is fits looser than the Stotes, but I'm not 100% sure, but uh, if anybody is looking for a pair of these guys or wants to trade for an extra small, let me know. And for footwear, the Union Air Jordan 1 Black Toes. This, if I could wear only one pair of Jordans for the rest of my life, this would be it. Um, Jordan 1's classic silhouette. I just like the, almost like the V shape that it kind of makes. It goes from like wide to narrow downward. I'm a big fan, a big fan of this guy. I wish I kept the Storm Blues. I had the Storm Blues from the LA pop-up, but I decided to sell one, keep one. I kept these guys. Um, I still wear these pretty frequently. I am probably gonna buy the Storm Blues again sometime later down in the line, but uh, the black toes have been serving me well. Also, quick tip, if you guys find Air Jordan ones uncomfortable, get like comfort insoles. Like this shit also saves my life like so many times. Cause Jordan ones, not the most comfortable sneaker. Uh, if you add this insole, it makes it 10 times more comfortable. So perfect for all day wear. And last but not least, <laughs> Uniqlo Eras and Boxers. So I know a bunch of people talk about Uniqlo Basics, Ken, and a few other people that live and die by them. I live and die by their boxers. Their boxers are a fucking one. Uh, the Eras and Boxers, even the Mesh Boxers are really nice. They save my ass literally during the summer months. Uh, California is starting to get hotter and hotter, even though San Diego, it's been like kind of flip-flopping lately. These guys are gonna be extremely valuable during summer months. Um, if anybody's in humid climates, these guys are really worth the money and they're not even super expensive and they always have like combo deals. I have a few honorable mentions. Um, next up is a recent pickup as well, but I've been wearing this guy to the ground. It is the Jound Reebok Club Seas. 
So these guys, I switched out the laces for the cream off-white because I kind of like that matching of the laces and the tongue because the tongue came as like a cream color as well. Um, this is essentially just my go-to everyday sneaker right now. It's this and these guys, honestly, like if I'm trying to like dress up a bit more, this, if it's something more on like the daily, these guys, um, they're neutral enough, they're simple enough, quality's there. I wouldn't pay anything over 250 for them. Uh, don't be paying exorbitant prices, but a part of me feels like these guys are gonna wear down like crazy because I've only worn these since the Montreal pop-up and they're getting quite beat upper wise, but um, bottoms seem okay, but because I don't drag my feet, but definitely A1, really like these sneakers. So one of my honorable mentions is the John Elliott Cast 2. So the Cast 2, and this is the Ronin wash. I really do like it. It's a pair of black jeans that's been like washed and like beautifully distressed. There's a few paint marks all over. Uh, the back panel has been sort of distressed in the shape of either a wallet or a phone. Um, I'm just a big fan of this. My only drawback, I guess, is since I've been losing weight, this doesn't fit. Uh, like it used to um, I got a 31 and then I think I might need a 29 or a 30 now because it does fit kind of big on the waist um, and I also got these tapered down to a, a 5.6 5 5.7 um, leg opening and I don't know like I just like my pants to fit a bit more slim a bit more skinny so this is my go-to pair of denim Next up is, well, I guess a two-in-one, the Jown J90 gray sweatshirt as well as the sweatpants. So I've had two or three other Jown sweatshirts and I think the material that they chose for this is the best like by far. Um, it's extremely soft. Um, the pilling isn't as like super apparent because like the black hoodie that I had, uh, that pills a bit more than this, even though that the black hoodie has anti-pilling or anything like that. So I'm a big fan of this. I like the oversized fit, but a part of me kind of feels weird having it like kind of hang over. It kind of feels like a muffin top in a weird way, having too much uh, cotton on the sides over here, but it's just like, I don't know. I really do enjoy it. Uh, I get a medium. I probably uh, prefer a size small. Um, I'm five foot eight, so I'm not super tall or anything like that. So a small would probably do me good. For these sweatpants, I really do like the small details that they have, such as the mesh pockets. So the mesh pockets, um, this just reminds me of like sports shorts, I guess, or mesh shorts, um, but this is extremely valuable. I really do like the texture of it too. Super soft, super comfy. Um, the size small, people are saying that it fits slim, but in my opinion, it doesn't really fit that slim. Um, I probably want this in a size extra small. I don't know. But the mesh is in the two front pockets. It has this back pocket as well. Uh, fabric is the same soft um, fleece, cotton type of material, sweat material as the hoodie is. So I really do enjoy this. This is pretty much my only pair of sweats. Um, or at least sweatpants. And yeah, I wear this during like lazy days when I'm getting coffee or something like that outside. So yeah, that was my, I guess, five essentials and some change. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, or I guess five wardrobe essentials. It's been a while since I did this. Talk to you guys next time. I'll have an update video out soon after this. Um, just talking about uh, the whole channel and what I want to do with it now that I'm out of university and I have a lot more time. So yeah, talk to you guys next time. Peace.